This is my CAN bus driven uh, sequential shift light. And right now it's just in a demo mode, so it's just counting up. It's obviously not connected to my car, but um, as it counts up, it hits the activation point, and then as it goes through, the RPM goes up. The first four LEDs right now are set to green, then the next two are yellow, the last two are red. Hard to see those because it's so darn bright. But then it'll hit 6200, that's the hard shift point, and then it goes into a blinking mode. And then it just circles around the, the numbers. But there's a menu system. Um, you can change the brightness. So right now it's at 8. Lower it down to 0. You wouldn't be able to see the LCD uh, segment, 7 segment display. Um, goes all the way up to 15. I mean, you can't even see the strip. So I'll put it in the middle again ish. Um, you can change the activation point. Right now I have it set to 4200. And then the shift point, which is 6400. Um, then you can change each one of the colors. So uh, it's a color wheel, 255 value color wheel. So as it goes around, it starts turning to yellow and then through red and everything else. So you can do that for each one of the colors. And all of these values are being saved to the um, to the onboard memory. So when you shut off your car and turn it back on, it'll still be the same color. You can change where the uh, where the value is for the first cutoff. So it's kind of hard to see, but right now the the fourth light up is the one that's blinking. That's where the end of the green is. So I'll expand it. I obviously can't go past the next one, so it's up to the fifth light, or I can move it all the way down to the first light. And then you can move the, you can change the second one as well, so. Then it just keeps on going.